In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic calendars like this in Excel. If we change month name, it will change. If we change year, it will change. So how to create this? Step by step, I'm going to explain it to you. Even if you are a beginner, you will understand this. Watch this video until the end. Let's go to the another sheet and here we will start creating calendar from beginning. First we need year. Type any year, type any month and then we need weekdays. So weekdays number not name. So what is weekdays? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We want numbers. So for Sunday it is 1, for Monday it is 2 and for Saturday it is 7. But how to convert days into the number? There is a function, weekday function. But before that we need to convert month and year into a date serial. So how to convert into a date serial? Date value is the function. So what does date value do? If you give it a date, it will convert into date serial. That means date text to date number. What is a date serial? It is just a number behind every date. It is a unique number for each date. You don't have to worry about it. Just leave it to this function. This function will do it. So what we need to do is month and year. We have serial number but not the weekday number. So week day and then enclose it in round brackets so sixth is the number of the day so first date in the may month is on friday in 2020 okay now what we need is how many days are there in the may month so how to know that date value month and year and here EO month that is end of the month comma zero that is for current month okay so this will give us date but we want days how many days number so day day function day add round brackets and press enter 31 days are there in the May month so let's now type here Sunday let the excel do rest of the work so we will use autofill handle now let's add borders we need seven columns and eight rows so all borders now it looks good we know what is our work area so let's format this bold Here I have the formula, I am going to copy it and then paste it here. Now let's fill all the cells with this formula. So drag this like this and like this. So we have now all the cells filled with this formula. You might have noticed that here we have 32, 33. We will fix it so how to do that select all the cells and then select white text so it will hide it so now you will ask how will i see my days in the calendar don't worry go to conditional formatting highlight sales rules between here you need to type one and the cell reference 31 Okay, so d1 whatever the value is in the d1 and choose a formatting let's choose a yellow fill okay now we have all the days see it has highlighted till 31 only because 31 days are there in the may month let's change april Now let's understand how this formula works. Here I have this formula in notepad. See, if row a3 equal to 3, that means 
here it is 3 here it is 4 right fifth row sixth row seventh row eighth row if it is third row then see this is the true condition of if function right if you know the if function already then it is very easy for you to understand okay so this is our condition if it is true then c1 that is fixed c dollar sign dollar c dollar one that means fixed cell when we drag the formula it doesn't change so equal to column a3 that means the column of a3 the column of a3 is one right a3 so it is the first column b is second column c is third column now you are going to ask me if everywhere we have a3 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 then how will this row or column will change because we are dragging the formula if you want to see it see here see it is changed before 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 okay now what is c1 c1 is weekday number so 4 that means wednesday so c1 equal to column a3 that means if we are in the fourth column and here also we have fourth number then we need to start the month we have to keep these blanks so one if it is true or if error in case error occurs so if offset a3 0 minus 1 if this cell is empty then we have to keep this empty so here as you can see if this is empty we have to keep this empty right so like that offset if it is not empty then previous cell so in case we are here previous cell plus 1 see 1 plus 1 double quotes that means keep it empty okay so this and the column number if it is not equal so we are doing this only in the third row i know this is confusing because it is a nested if if inside if inside if so it might confuse you but don't worry i am going to give this formula to you in the video description so you can just copy it and paste it in your excel sheet if column a3 is equal to 1 if we are here in this column then indirect g row a3 minus 1 means this cell so cell before this is this right so we need to extract the value from the g column so g column and row is minus 1 that means whatever the current row is fifth row so minus 1 g4 offset a3 0 minus 1 so again that it is for previous cell so just add plus 1 our function ends there now here you can do some formatting like this so hide the values you don't want and you can bold this you can also add month list in a drop down so if you want to do that go to data data validation you can also automate it using today text and for year year function I try to keep this as simple as possible for beginners. Don't forget to copy the formula from the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next video.